Well, we just got here to the Omni for uh, the Heart of Dallas Bowl, and uh, you know we've had a great week of practice, and we're uh, we're ready and set to go play. We had one of the most uh, energy-filled practices before we left Denton this morning. Uh, not only because it was the last day we're going to have pads on until Wednesday, but what we're about to experience and being a part of this bowl experience and coming down and representing our great university. It's uh, the first time for a lot of these guys, pretty much every, all of our players have never been to a bowl game. It's going to be a fun experience. Uh, it's going to be something I hope it's going to be contagious and they want to do it every year, and, and that's what it's about. Uh, it feels good, you know, coming from uh, – my freshman year, no, not participating in any ball games, and that being a goal since I came here is a big, it's a big deal. I'm very excited. Uh, the experience of coming to a ball game and having the seniors go out with a bang, is having a team bonding. It's, it's, it feel like a real family. Uh, about 95% of the team. This is their first ball game. This is their first uh, experience to experience something like this. And, uh, it's it's a cool feeling. This is only the first hour or so since we've been here, so. We're excited and we're looking forward to it. This is great, man. This is awesome. This hotel is so nice. We've been walking around the whole time. We've got a bunch of people playing around, having fun. It's great. Oh, you see that? You see that? We better bring our A-game on Wednesday. Uh, there's energy everywhere. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of fun. Uh, let's never lose sight of why we came to win the football game on Wednesday. It's going to be hard to do. Better bring our A-game. But along the way, this is a great reward for everyone's hard work, especially the guys that have been with me these past three seasons. The Heart of Dallas Bowl is all about public service, community improvement, and so each of the teams, both the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and the University of North Texas, have come to serve a meal to our neighbors who live in this building, and it's turned into a real celebration. We know we're all here trying to win a bowl championship, bring a trophy home, UNLV is doing the same thing, trying to bring that trophy back to Vegas. But here we are taking some time, putting aside uh, some personal time and team time to come in here and give back to the community, give back to people. Just coming where I come from, uh, you know, so I can kind of relate to them. Like, this is a home. The lady said it was like 200 apartments here. Some of them were families. Some of them had children. Uh, it's for the working poor. They're actually serving a meal to the residents of City Walk, which is uh, our downtown office tower we've turned into housing for formerly homeless persons and for uh, affordable housing for workforce people who work and live downtown. The best thing about it is you can give back. I mean, whether it be me just giving somebody a hug or just playing football with the kids like we were doing earlier, whatever the case may be, uh, it's just spending quality time with people. And a lot of times that's, that's all you can give, but I'm, glad, I'm just glad we're in a position to be able to do that. Stay humble, don't ever forget your roots, be appreciative, and always give back. And my players will tell you, they hear from me a lot, you're not entitled to anything. And when you do get an opportunity to give back and show appreciation, then do it. And what a great uh, setup this is for all of us to come in and give back to the city of Dallas. This episode of Beyond the Green is brought to you by Bud Light. I hate watching with Ramsey. All he does is yell. They can't hear you, Ramsey. But every time he's come over this year, we've won. And he always brings Bud Light. Little dog won't come out from under the couch, but we're winning. I love you, Ramsey. Bud Light, for the fans who do whatever it takes. Right now we're at the Dallas Stars game. Uh, we're just having a team function here. Uh, we all voted on coming to a hockey game. We've never been to a hockey game before. Uh, this is one of our, you know, one of our luxury gifts and our events that we can go to for this bowl game. And uh, I'm just still trying to find out this one player that know anything about hockey. Excuse me, Mr. Jones and Jones. You? How you doing? Brother from another mother. Mother. What you know about hockey, brother? Not a damn thing. I just know they skating hit. I really I know Gretzky. I don't even know his first okay. name. Okay. Uh I know these prices are high, man. I, I, thank y'all, no Okay, okay. Thank thank Offsides. What else? Hooking. Okay. Elbow. What happens, what happens when they get a penalty? Yeah, I go to the penalty box. Okay. For like two minutes, unless it's like fighting, and then you go for like five. 
heard you yelling, I heard you screaming. You gotta know something, cause let us have it. What you know about hockey? Well, I know that there's sticks. Yes. And there's ice. And, right. And there's, uh, oh, that's it. Wow. What you know about the Dallas Stars? The hockey team. Oh, uh, hockey team and uh, what else? in Dallas. Right now, uh, just had a recent offsides penalty. I don't know okay. with offsides, how offsides works in hockey. Uh, break it down for us. Well, it's similar to soccer, except for it's not based off the last defender. It's the blue line. Okay. Uh, the puck can't cross the blue line. Uh, it gets out of the zone. You need to get all the players back beyond the blue line before you can take it into their zone again. What did you hear? So you just here for the free throw? No. No. I'm just here for the free throw. I'm trying to enjoy the game down there. What you know about hockey? Not a damn thing. But, uh, what you know about hockey? About hockey, y'all. Okay. You going to get the puck? Go going to get the puck. And the goal. That's good enough. That's good enough. Most people don't even know that. Uh, we got icing. Uh, so if it's still five on five, there's not a penalty. Uh, you can't just send the puck to the opposite side of the, the ice. And if it crosses this red line right here behind the net. OK. Uh, you know, it's kind of like you're getting rid of it, so the other team gets to go down and have a face off on the other side. We got us a winner. We got us a winner. Thank you, sir. Officer Blake Dunham, Derek T. Garden, out of 150 football players, only two knows how to play hockey. <laughs> Maybe I give credit to my coach. Maybe. It's a really exciting game. Uh, we're just having a good time with the team, with our players, just bonding. Uh, had a tough practice today, uh, so uh, we're just coming here, just relaxing, looking at the Dallas Stars game. We're here at Top Golf here in the Colony. Uh, like a driving range, try to get points. You know, hitting, hitting certain holes. You know, the further you hit it, the more points you get. Uh, great great time for our kids to relax a little bit, take some time off from uh, practice and bowl preparation. It's also a great opportunity to make fun of people who are not very good at golf. <laughs> Wide left, uh, no, sir. I think Happy Gilmore hit that one farther with a hockey stick. It's been a lot of fun to watch him kind of swing the club, attempt to swing the club. A lot of missed balls out here. Just awful. Last one. Last one. Last mechanics, four shot. Luckily, there's nets up here to keep it from going on the highway, so people stay safe around here. You gotta eat it harder than that, bro. I'm gonna come. 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 I don't know what the high score is, probably not very good, very well. It's just fun to watch them. It's fun to watch them uh, swing and see how uh, unathletic they can be when they swing the golf club. And it makes them appreciate uh, the professionals that play this great sport. This is just another option that, you know, the, the Heart of Dallas Bowl set up for us to have the opportunity to come here. Um, a lot of guys haven't been here, so it's a great opportunity to come here and hang out with the, hang out with the teammates and do something that, you know, most people haven't got to do. Big time shot. Yep. Absolutely. One of these days they're gonna eventually have to put up the cleats and the one thing they want to pick up is the golf clubs. You wanna go out and have some fun, that's a good way to do it. Welcome to UNT. You came to UNT to get an education. We're gonna give you an education. 